so many parcels. This is like more than I usually get at Christmas. Girls Who Haul on YouTube are professional because this is actually difficult. <laughs> Oh boy, am I excited for this one. So welcome or welcome back to my channel, Sarah Lisa. And today I am doing a completely massive Lily Pulitzer haul. So I was on the website for Lily Pulitzer looking at the spring and summer dresses and man, are they gorgeous. I grabbed a few and I put them in my cart thinking maybe I'll treat myself to some new dresses. Two dresses and one silk blouse later and my total was nearing $600. So I thought to myself, as the secondhand guru that I am, what could I possibly get for the same price if I bought all of these pieces and maybe more secondhand? So I popped onto Poshmark and I started my search. I will be honest, this is not for the faint of heart. Um, I think it took me two and a half weeks just to find the garments in my size that I was interested in to build this wardrobe, but they're here and um, it feels like Christmas today. This is nuts. This is um, not something I do on a regular basis. Feels like Christmas and I'm gonna open everything up and share with you at the end of the video the total retail that all these parcels are and the total that I spent on them. So grab a drink. Or a cup of coffee if it's not too late where you are. And let's unbox this massive Lily Pulitzer haul. Okay, who gets to go first? This parcel is the Lily Pulitzer Ferrera Fringe Sweater in a size small. It retails for $140 and I picked it up for 20. It's cute. Oh, this is really pretty. I got this one in a size small and it has all these cute little fringy bits around the bottom. I'm not really sure about quality. These have been pre-owned. They've been in people's houses. All of these came from Poshmark. So I think I might get a surprise. I might get ripped off on a few of them. I don't know, but this I think is absolutely gorgeous. Boat neck, oversized, has this handkerchief hem and all of these tiny cute little fringy bits. Condition is perfect, absolutely excellent. So we'll see how that fits. Sticking with sweaters, this is the Azalea Seahorse Cotton Sweater in a medium white. It retails for $150 and I picked this up for 20 Canadian dollars as well. This really is like the best day ever, <laughs> waiting for all these parcels to come. I'm sure I'm gonna have to reposh some of them for how they fit or the size. Um, but we'll see. Super fun. Hi, baby. My dog. My dog loves um, parcels when we're opening presents at Christmas. If you hear her underneath, is that fun? Is there something in there for you? Let me see. Is there something in there for you? Oh, what a rip off. Santa didn't bring you something? Maybe later. Yeah, I'll order for you next time. Okay, you gotta go. You gotta back up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, really. Lie down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. This is stunning. Super pretty wool blend. It has, I hope you can see this, it has the sweetest seahorse embroidered into the top. It's in immaculate condition. This is gorgeous. Really nice quality. Ooh, I'm impressed so far. Two for two. So I've got a navy sweater and a white sweater. I picked this one up in a medium as well. A lot of the reviews. So I should start this by saying I love watching Lily Halls on YouTube. I watch them all the time. I don't actually myself own a Lily garment. Um, now I own a lot of them, but I don't even own one Lily garment myself. And uh, living in the north, I think I'm probably, I don't know, five hours away from the closest Lily store. So I went with the reviews online saying you can go true to size or sometimes you can size down. So I picked up a lot of medium because that's what I think I am, but I also got a few smalls and extra smalls and things that have some stretch to them. So we'll just have to see how they fit. Daisy. This is the, okay, so um, obviously when you order something, it doesn't say on the label what it is, but I ordered so many parcels that as they were coming in, I just took a scrap of paper and looked at the tracking number and then wrote down what it was and wrote down the comparable and then what I paid for it because this is a massive mountain of parcels and I think it would have been, um, just too much to do it all on the fly like this when I'm opening these. So we'll open this. Oh, I forgot to say what it was. <laughs> this is the Lily Pink Samba Wiley Strapless Ruffle Tube Top. I was really excited for this because it looked kind of dressy um, and I think we can style it in a lot of different ways. It retails for $152, and I also picked this up for a Canadian 20. Oh. Pretty things inside. Really sweet. I have to give props to some of these posh marks. I know this one's not for you either. I'm so sorry. Guess maybe we have to do a dog haul next. If you have a dog who loves presents, <laughs> leave me a picture of them in the comments because I don't know if she's just a weirdo or what, but she really thinks she's getting presents today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can help me open it though. Okay. Looks good so far. Ooh, this is adorable. So it's a pink tube top with a ruffle that goes all the way around. Oh yeah, that's cute. And I was thinking it would look really good with like white jeans or maybe um, a navy trouser. Ooh, and it's got coral all over it. The print is adorable. It's really soft. And I'm pretty sure also in perfect condition. So add that to our winner's pile. Okay. This goodie is the Lily Eyelet Dress with pink striped skirt and I just wrote a question mark. I could not find um, this dress online for sale right now. Etsy, Poshmark, um, the actual website. I couldn't find it. So it could be a few seasons old. It could be a vintage piece. I really don't know, but it looked cute. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I do not have a comparable for this one, but I paid $30 for it. Hmm. 
I've been drinking um, lemon electrolytes from Costco and they are the best thing ever. This is my new summer drink. Lemonade electrolytes, <laughs> so good. Okay, back to work. I'm always nervous to like cut the fabric. Ooh. Oh, these lilies are bright. I can tell right away. I'm going to like this one. Okay, it's a seersucker, which I didn't know. It's got that slight... Oh, so cute. I'm saying, oh, so cute because they take such good attention to detail. Even underneath, like this is the inside of the dress on the hem. It's hemmed in gold thread that spells out... Lily, it's so cute. These little things, you don't even see it when you're wearing the dress. Ooh, oh my, oh my gosh. It's new with tags. Um, I couldn't find this dress anywhere. Ooh, $228 retail. And I picked her up for 30 and it's a adorable it's got pockets oh man that's cute what are you doing back there are you digging a hole do not dig a hole in my cushion okay this i couldn't find a comp for oh and the little fringy bits around the armhole this is the cutest dress ever i'm really excited to have this i hope it fits well That was a winner. I guess sometimes um, the sellers online forget to say or don't think you care that it's new with tags, but new with tags probably would have, I don't know, maybe I would have even paid a bit more or bought it a bit faster. I was kind of umming and awing because I couldn't find it online and I didn't know, is it a few seasons old? Is it vintage? I couldn't find the dress. They also did a collection with Target um, about eight I believe years ago. So some of the dresses are not the Lily Pulitzer like standard higher end line. They're a collab with Target. I did buy one Target dress though, um, even though I knew it retailed for about $40 originally. It wasn't like a normal, where are you? This one. Okay, we'll go with this one next. So Bunch of years ago, they did a collab. They did it with Target and made Lily like affordable dresses. And this one was just so stinking cute. Um, we'll see the difference between um, quality. So let's pop this one open. This is the Lily 4 Target 100% linen giraffe print dress. And it retailed for only 40 bucks. I paid 25. Let's get into this one. This really is like the best day ever. <laughs> oh wow. The shipper, um, or the online reseller I should say, does a really good job. She packaged in cardboard. She has little thank you stickers everywhere and looks like it's gonna be cute. Till you see this one. I thought it was so sweet. Okay, we'll start with the tag. The tag is not the normal Lily tag. The tag says Lily Pulitzer, but then it has the little bullseye, which is the symbol for Target. So this isn't your standard Lily Pulitzer dress. It's a collab dress and it was made for a Target. Oh my gosh. It's really pretty. Giraffe print. 
Ooh, I'm kind of excited for this one. And it's got a little pineapple pull on the zipper. Really sweet. That one might be a little bit big. I can't quite tell yet. Time will tell. parcels this is like more than i usually get at christmas girls who haul on youtube are professional because this is actually difficult <laughs> okay this bag this bag was purchased from one seller and she had a lot of lily in her closet i got these at such a good price but all of the listings said in used condition worn condition uh the pants literally said stained at the bottom have not tried to remove so i might have got ripped off with what's whatever's in this bag and this actually might be a garbage bag that she <laughs> used because i don't i don't know the quality of what's in this one we're gonna have to see but there are three things number one is the skipper popover in navy super cute really excited to have a lily popover they are like the lily sweatshirt and that retailed for 142 dollars she gave it to me for 15. next is the rexy top in bright pink and that one says used condition I don't know what that means. It retailed for $117 and I got it for 10. And third in this bag is the Lily Pulitzer Georgia May Palazzo Pants in Playa Hermosa. And those are the ones that say they're stained at the bottom. I have not tried to remove. So we'll see if I'm doing laundry tonight or, um, We'll see what's in here. The pants retailed for $195 and I just picked them up for 12. <laughs> Wish me luck. This is the only kind of like risky one. Um, I really wasn't sure. With all of the little notes that she added, what kind of quality I'm gonna be getting here in my wrapped up garbage bag. You know what, I like when the sellers use um, recycled materials. It doesn't bother me at all. In fact, I feel like a bit better if it comes in a cardboard box, I can recycle it, but why not use old bags to package? Um, yep, yeah, it doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't take away from the experience. And, oh, she's really organized. She ships everything folded in a Ziploc bag, which I think is really clever, especially in Canada because we have so much rain, so much snow, it kind of protects your garment. And, okay, guys, these are not looking bad. Okay, let's go with the popover. Popovers are like a cult classic from what I have read. What can I use this for? I'm not throwing these out, by the way. I'm gonna find uses for them. Sometimes I even put like office receipts and things in Ziploc bags and just scribble on it. So those will not be wasted. Thank you, seller. This is the popover. Honestly, it looks really good. Um, looks good. It smells good. <laughs> I think she washed everything super fresh before shipping it. This is adorable. And this is one of the examples that, this is an extra small, and I think it's gonna fit just fine. Yeah, super happy with that. Next. I can't believe how expensive these tank tops are. Um, shocking. Let's see. Okay, this one, this one is used. This is the pink popover. It's not bad though. 
Um, I can see up close on the fabric, especially around the arms. There's, you know, there's pilling, but not disastrous. I mean, for $10, a tank top that was over $100, I can manage with a tiny bit of pilling. I might even be able to use my little sweater depiller machine and take some of this off. This does not bother me at all. And last. Oh my gosh, look at these pants. Okay, these say stained, um, couldn't remove. And I'm so glad I sized down. These are an extra small, but I could tell that they were stretchy material and they are not a traditional extra small. They are so cute. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to style these. The print looks so fun. Sorry for getting out of the shot there. It's like a really stretchy print. These will be amazing on vacation. Okay, um, $12, that was such a win. Okay. Who do we want next? This one. I've been waiting for this one. This is the Adela Ruffle Wool Blend Long Sleeve V-neck. And I'm pretty sure I got it in pink, but I just thought it would be a really good everyday top and it might look cute with those pants. I have a pair of white pants in here somewhere as well. It retails for $127 and I picked it up for 20. And I'm telling you like 20 is not, um, not an unrealistic number to grab Lily Pulitzer's on Poshmark at um, sometimes if the seller has something for, I think like listed a little bit too high, I will send a lower offer to them and they might send me back an offer. We might go back and forth once or twice, but sending people offers for 20 bucks, if the item's already priced close to 20 bucks, I feel like they take it every time and they're probably happy to move it. Whoever had this in their closet was likely not wearing it and... Woo, that was loud. And let's see what she looks like. So this I also got in an extra small and oh, it's really sweet. Kind of like a longer length sweater V-neck and it's got a decent size ruffle on the arms and then it's Shorter in the front and longer on the back. Really pretty, like heathered pink. I really like this one. I'm a fan of pink. Um, we'll have to see. I didn't get like crazy, crazy brights. Lily is known for crazy brights and like highlighter colors, but I don't feel like any of these are too crazy for me. I feel like I'm gonna wear them all. Okay, <laughs> down to the last three. Holy cow, it's been a marathon. And I am gonna say at the end what I spent versus what this would have cost me had I bought them on the Lily Pulitzer website. Um, you're gonna be amazed. And honestly, if you set some money aside, if you're looking to build out a new summer wardrobe, there's no reason you can't do this for yourself. You just need to be patient and think about the pieces that you actually need and build yourself out a summer wardrobe. Do it on Poshmark because, man, we got some good deals. Okay, next. This is probably the most expensive thing that I bought. This is the Christina Stretch Long Sleeve Dress in Full Bloom Floral. This is one of the dresses that I had in my cart um, on the actual Lily website. I 
love this dress and I hope it fits me really well. It retails for $329 and for this I paid 70. So let's see if she's cute and then if she fits. Oh boy, I think my scissors need to sharpen. Oh my gosh. I think I've said that like a hundred times today. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. So far, I have yet to be disappointed. There's a little thank you sticker. No thank you. Oh. <laughs> Look at this print. I think this is adorable. Okay. This dress is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I hope this isn't too big. I did order this in an eight, which is sort of what I think of as a medium. Not that I had a choice. It wasn't like, oh, I could have ordered the six. There was no six. There just happened to be this perfect dress in an eight. So I might even get this tailored if it doesn't fit me quite right. But the waist is elasticized. It's a deep V-neck. Oh, it's so cute. It has a little hook here so that your cleavage doesn't spill out. And it's elasticized at the armhole as well with this tiny bit of pretty little fringe. Looks like perfect condition, just like she said in the listing. And I'm so excited to try this on. Let's do this one because we haven't done a bottom yet. This one has a bottom in it as well. Well, he has a bunch of cute skirts and skirts. I just don't know if I'm a skirts and sports type of girl. So I got a pair of shorts and I got a pair of wide leg um, white pants. And then I got those palazzo pants. So I'm going to mix and match and try and create some fun outfits there. Okay. This is the Buttercup Katia short, and she retails for $88. I picked this up for $15, and they have really cute shorts. Get into this. Pretty paper. Ooh. Okay. Oh my gosh. What size is this? That's a four. Um, in no actual universe am I a size four. I am an eight um, or a medium. These look really big. Um, I do the, um, oh yeah, I do the neck test. If you are out thrifting or you're at your friend's house and she's trying to give you some stuff and you don't know if it's gonna fit you, take the waistband and put it around your neck. If it touches just nicely, easy, um, they're going to fit your waist. I do not know why it works, but it absolutely works every time. And these are like, they're, they're not fitting just around my neck. They're fitting like a necklace. I cannot believe Lily. What's that? How come, how come your four is an eight? I don't know what's happening, but the scalloped little edges are so cute. The material is cute. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being crazy and these are looking big, but um, I don't think so. I think these are huge. I might um, take them to my seamstress or I might reposh them um, for that price. Oh, the button is even cute. This little golden button. They're adorable. But as someone who like can't go into a Lily Pulitzer store to figure out what size she is, I still have no idea what size I am <laughs> in Lily anything. Okay, last one. This parcel has 
two items in it. The first one is the white Palm Beach wide leg crop pant that retails for $119. I picked it up for 10 and it has a blue and gold high neck halter dress that retailed for $275 and I paid 60 for that. So this is the second most expensive item that I got. That new dress was the most at $70 I paid. This one has the dress at 60, but the pants at 10. Um, just how she valued her own items. So, have a piece here. Cute packaged. Let's check the size, the waistband. Oh, these are nice. And big, yeah. <laughs> So these are a size eight. They are really nice wide leg trouser. Everything I got off of Poshmark and this was a lot of parcels to sort of test this like cleanliness. Are there stains? Did I get ripped off? Um, like this is a decent amount of parcels to test with and everything has been really clean. Um, most things when they open them up, they smell like they've been freshly laundered. Um, these two, like I can tell she just washed these and then I think she ironed them. So yeah, these are big. What the heck, Lily? The pant behind is an eight. The short in front, both with sturdy waistbands is a four and they are exactly the same size and if anything the size four is actually a tiny bit bigger um i don't know i'm confused <laughs> if anyone has tips on uh lily pant short skirt conversion kits I don't know. I don't know what that means. Why a four would be bigger than an eight in a pant with a waistband, but, um, everything's in really nice condition. Oh, I'm going to show this dress. This looked nice too. Um, Ooh, thank you card. <laughs> so nice when these posh sellers are so sweet. Thank you for supporting my business. Your order made my day. And I hope this makes yours. Um, that is sweet. I really appreciate that. I think it's lovely. Save that aside. Okay, this one. I bought this. Okay, I was going to say, I think I bought this in an eight, but I bought this in a six. So I feel a bit better. This is gorgeous. Bit of a fancier dress. With a halter neckline. Tuck these in. This is so pretty and so well made. Um, these little lace bits in gold. Sweet, this is really cute. Okay, so I am very impressed as a first time Lily Holler. <laughs> um, I'm very impressed with the quality of these garments, like, $350 is a lot to spend on a dress, but if you are in love with a dress and you can figure out what the heck size you are, I would absolutely say go ahead and add a special Lily dress to your wardrobe because the quality, the seams, the fabric, um, they're beautiful. Thank you so much for joining me on this epic Lily Pulitzer haul and um, helping me go through my brand new Lily Pulitzer wardrobe. Some of these pieces are going to be coming to my Poshmark or my Etsy shop in the next few days, but I think I'm going to be keeping a lot of it for summer, to be honest. So I grabbed the piece of cardboard that was in um, one of these bags, keeping the garment nicely folded. And I've done the totals. Retail price, I'm gonna give you in Canadian dollars because 
I'm in Canada. I didn't add in tax on either pile or shipping on either pile. So you guys know what um, tax and shipping is. Retail price for these garments in my new collection is $1,773. And what my total spend was is 257 bucks. Guys, buy second hand. It's really important. <laughs> Both for your budget um, and for your wardrobe. You can always move things along if they're not working out for you. You can resell them, reposh them, um, give them to a friend. But I'm really excited with my new summer Lily Pulitzer haul. Let me know in the comments, do you want to see another Lily Pulitzer haul? Do you have an idea for another brand that you want me to try and source and haul for you with the price comparisons? Let me know in the comment, hit the like button, please subscribe. I'm gonna have a new video out every single Thursday and have so much fun playing in your own wardrobe. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.